Hello, I'm Tony Ross. I'm the interim president at Bergen Community College, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the fall semester. As you know, the fall semester is different, just as it has been uh, all summer long and uh, since March, actually. So uh, things will look different when you return to campus, or better yet, you may not be returning to the physical campus, but when you take your classes. Uh, we want you to know, number one, that the college and the staff and faculty are here to serve you, to provide for all of your needs, and to work with you to meet your educational plans and goals that you set for yourself. We're excited in terms of what this new environment will look like for us. The, uh, the online virtual environment is one that is very strong. It's one that the faculty have invested in. Our staffs are working remotely to be able to answer all of your needs, whether it's financial aid, admissions, testing, student life and conduct, you name it, we're here to serve you. Uh, the most important thing to remember, though, is should you have a need to come on the campus to handle any of your business, number one, we ask that you make an appointment to see whomever you need to see, because not every office is open, and we're not letting people on the campus as routinely as we normally would. That's number one. Number two, if you decide and you do have an appointment and if you decide to come to, to the campus, several uh, things you need to know. Number one, you have to have your mask. You can't enter the, enter the building or any building without having your fa facial covering. So please remember to bring your mask. Secondly, when you do enter the college, your temperature will be scanned. Uh, we have uh, a thermal scan uh, device at every entrance that uh, has been designated and you'll have an opportunity to scan and uh, have your temperature certified to allow you to then move forward to go to your, your meeting. And lastly, we ask that once your meeting's complete, that you leave the college campus and head back to your home so that everyone remains safe. The bottom line for us is that your health and safety are the number one priorities for us. Yes, we're here to serve you educationally, but we can't do that if you're not strong, you're not safe, and you're not keeping others safe as well. When you think about Bergen Community College, just know we're here to take care of you. We're here to meet all of your educational needs. We offer that high quality education that you all look forward to. We have all of our faculty and staff available to assist you. If you have any questions, please go to our website. And if you need to get information beyond the website, you can call to get additional information. So again, it's my pleasure to welcome you to Bergen Community College. The fall 2020 semester is about to begin. Thank you and have a great day. Hello, my name is Brock Fisher and I'm the Vice President for Academic Affairs at Bergen Community College. We're happy that you're all back. What I'd like to talk to you about today are some different course types that you'll see on your class schedule this year. First off, you might have a hybrid live course. These are the classes that actually involve coming to campus for some portion of the class. Most likely, this is going to be a lab. Next, you have asynchronous classes. In an asynchronous class, I think of it as basically your typical online class. You're not going to have a specific schedule that you have to meet, so you do the class at your own pace according to your own schedule. Next, you might have a synchronous class. If you have one of these, you take the course entirely online, you don't come to campus, but the instructor will have some specific meeting times for you. Now we have one final type that you might have on your schedule, and that's called mixed. It could be a little bit of all of the classes I've just talked about, and in that case, you're going to want to go ahead and speak with your instructor or wait till that first day to check the syllabus out and find out the specifics. So if you have any additional questions on this, please just check out our website. We have all kinds of details for you there and I wish you the best of luck in this fall semester. For those of you who are new, thanks for joining us. For those of you who are returning, thanks for sticking with us and we look forward to serving you. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about some of the free services that you have at Bergen Community College that can help you if you get stuck in a class. My name is John Chikowski, and I'm the STEM supervisor at the Cerullo Learning Assistance Center. It's also called the Tutoring Center. So again, the only thing you need to remember about this video 
if you get stuck, there's people here to help you. For the fall semester, we're only going to be offering online tutoring. So all of these services will be available online. Let's jump into the video. For every class that you take at Bergen, you're entitled to two free tutoring sessions per week. So if you're taking four classes, this means you can go to tutoring eight times a week. The way you sign up for tutoring is you go to your portal. Here, you'll see there's a BCC tutoring link. Click there and you can make your appointment. We offer support for over 200 different classes. That includes all levels of mathematics, any English course you're taking, science, history, psychology, sociology, you name it, we most likely cover it. The Writing Center provides support for all English and writing courses. Additionally, if you have a class that requires an essay, we can provide essay support. Finally, when you're getting ready to transfer out of Bergen, we have tutors that will assist you writing your transfer essays. When the college reopens, you can visit the Math and Science Walk-In Center located in room L131. Here, you can study your math class or your science courses, and if you get stuck and there's a tutor available, they'll sit with you for five or ten minutes to help you along. They can't sit with you for three hours, but if you need a little nudge, we have tutors there to help you. Additionally, we have most textbooks there as well. So if you have a photo ID, we can loan you the textbook while you're there. You can't leave the room with them. If you are enrolled in our ALP program, or you have English as a second language, or even a third language, we have something called the English Language Resource Center located in room C212. Here you can get help with your conversation skills, grammar, pronunciation. We also have conversation groups there as well. Bergen Community College is amazing in that it has many people here to help you succeed academically. If you get stuck in a class, please reach out and find someone that will help you. You can start with your teacher first. If your teacher can't help you, then they might suggest that you go to tutoring. If you're getting stuck with your English, you can go to the English Language Resource Center. There are so many opportunities here to help you succeed. If you'd like to find out more about the Tutoring Center, please visit the link below. Again, my name is John Tchaikovsky. If you get stuck, please come to the Tutoring Center and see if we can help you move forward. Have a good semester, and I hope to meet you soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Bergen Community College in what promises to be a most unusual fall 2020 semester. My name is Greg Fenkart. I'm the coordinator of student development in the Office of Student Life and Conduct. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Bergen and about getting involved in what that might look like. Um, this is not what we expected. Uh, it's probably not what we hoped for, but this is going to be an amazing semester regardless. Um, there's no point in considering this a wasted semester or a wasted year because it's not going to be that. Uh, we're going to do some amazing things, you're going to do some amazing things, and we're going to all do that together. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the Office of Student Life can help with that. Um, no matter what the circumstances, what you put in to things in your life is what you're going to get back from it. It's a simple equation. So what you put into your education at Bergen and your time at Bergen is what you're going to get out of it. If you look at it as just something you're doing on the side, especially because it's online, then that's what it's going to be. But if you engage and if you care about what you're doing and you look for different opportunities, you're going to get so much more back and you're going to really, really enjoy your time at Bergen. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what kind of things are available to you outside of the classroom environment. Um, this is something that we've learned through studies nationwide that people who get involved on their college campus or in the virtual campus in this case, they also do better in their classes. You got to learn time management, certainly. Uh, but if you can find time to get your homework done, get your readings done, attend classes, and then still find time to find your passion and find that thing that you're looking for to really connect 
uh, you're going to have a great time and you're going to do better overall uh, in your campus work and in your, in your life beyond Bergen. Um, so, for example, our most common way to get involved at Bergen is through our student clubs and organizations. We have between 60 and 70 active clubs in any given year, um, and those change based on level of interest by our students. That's why I say 60 to 70. It's not always exactly the same, because if the students need, want, need or want something, it's there. Um, all of those clubs have been started by students at some point in history. Uh, we don't start the clubs in our office and hope that students join them. Uh, we want to make sure that they're reflective of student interest. So that's why they're all generated by students at some point, whether it was last semester or 20 years ago, they were all started by students. So if you look on the Bergen website under Student Life, you'll see a list of our clubs. Um, we think we have something for everyone, but if for some reason there's an interest that you have, we don't have a club for it, we'll help you start that club. That is not a problem. You're just going to reach out to our office. Um, and I'll say this a couple times throughout, but the best way to get in touch with us this semester is email. So start with studentlife at bergen.edu. Um, and you can also look for any specific personnel in our office. We have a great team ready to work with you, so we'll be there to help you out through student engagement and any other things you may need help with throughout the year. Um, so you got to leave room for some of these activities. We talked about the clubs and organizations. Some other ones I would like to highlight, student government. If you're interested in the shared governance of the college and helping the college make decisions, you might want to do that. It's sort of like student council in high school, if you're familiar with that, um, although that tends to be a little more event-based, which brings me to the Student Activities Board, which is a branch of student government. Um, and that group plans activities. Uh, this year they'll be virtual in the fall, and hopefully we'll be back to uh, full force in the spring. We have, in the past, we've had carnivals on campus, um, karaoke events, things like that. So that's what Student Activities Board's about. If you're an aspiring journalist, we have The Torch, that's the college newspaper. Um, so we, we really do have things across a wide range of interests, um, and we hope that you will find your niche. That's what college is all about, that's what Bergen is all about, is finding that thing, finding that connection with people. Um, and you'll make connections with faculty and staff as well that you won't have in the classroom. You'll have a different relationship which could help you, you know, get jobs later on down the road, or maybe they have a connection at the, the next institution you'd like to transfer to after you graduate Bergen. So these are other ways that get involved, and there's other benefits than just having that, uh, that experience. There's other sort of related benefits as well. Um, we also have leadership programs. Traditionally, we have a leadership day program in the fall, followed by a full leadership weekend in the spring. Um, those kinds of programs are going to be a little different this year uh, for obvious reasons, but we're still going to be doing our best to really make these memorable experiences available to students. Um, there will be leadership trainings and opportunities to uh, get involved in some different things. Um, we hope to be able to resume our off-campus trips. We usually go to a conference center off-site and we have um, faculty and staff present leadership seminars for the entirety of a weekend in the spring. Um, so that's something to look down the road to. But in the short term, we will be offering a series of online programs for leadership development on a number of different topics. Um, so that's, a, that's another critical piece of what we do in addition to the clubs is the leadership training and seminars and things like that. And getting involved in a club is leadership training in itself because they're, they're student run. They all have advisors, but they're all student run. Um, you're going to hear this theme a lot when I'm talking to you is that, that we really put a lot of the, uh, the power in the students' hands. We want the, these experiences to be shaped by students so that they're enjoyed. Uh, to their fullest. Um, some other things to sort of put on your radar um, in the future. We have, in the past, we typically do bus trips, uh, heavily discounted bus trips, by the way, to Yankee games, Broadway shows, um, Monday Night Football games. We like to offer these uh, opportunities to students um, to see things at an affordable price that they would not normally be able to get, um, and we provide transportation to and from the college. Again, this is down the road when we are able to resume those sorts of activities, but I do want you to understand that these are there and they're, they're, they are still going to happen, just not in the fall 2020 semester. But, um, and throughout your time at Bergen, we are, we are confident that they will come back in some way. Um, the other thing that you need to focus on is the community aspect of Bergen Community College. You gotta get involved because you will be then part of this family. The student life family in particular is what I'm speaking about, but you'll be part of the Bergen community. Um, any students that have gotten involved with our office, they, they've been able to navigate Bergen a lot better um, just through involvement in various aspects of the campus that they wouldn't have been if they only went to class and went home. So uh, getting involved with student life, student government, clubs, that will help you in a number of different ways. Uh, as I said, our team will help you out. Even if it's not student life related, start with us and we'll get you where you need to go. Um, speaking of that, that's something else you need to remember. If you need help, ask for help. Ask questions. 
We have so many support systems available at Bergen. Uh, I always tell students, this is no matter where you go when you're done with Bergen, you will never feel as well taken care of as you are here. Um, the only thing we can't do is read your mind. So if you have questions, ask, ask early. Don't wait until you're failing your class. Um, you're gonna have all kinds of people with all different levels of expertise able to help you. You just gotta ask. So look on the website. Always check your email, more important than ever before. Check your Bergen email regularly. That is our best way of getting in touch with you. That's your professor's best way of getting in touch with you. Um, and that's something, you have to get into that habit. You just have to. Um, and you'll have a lot more information at, at your fingertips. You also have the Bergen website, as I mentioned. The orientation website, where this video will be hosted, uh, is also gonna have a number of important links. There'll be some COVID-specific information about returning to campus. Um, and the different safety protocols in place. There'll be links to any different departments that you may need to access, um, and some other videos and information that will periodically appear. So keep checking this website, and really checking all of the Bergen website. The new website is, is great, it's informative, and it'll be able to really help you, especially as we're mostly virtual this year. Um, and the last thing I wanna say is to take this challenge from me. I've said it already, but I'm gonna specify. Pick one thing that you don't have to do this semester. And when I say you don't have to do it, meaning it's not homework, it's not an assignment for your class, pick something from student life, whether it's attending one club meeting, watching a virtual speaker event, getting involved in any of the different activities that you'll see on campus. That's my challenge to you. Just pick one, give it a try, and see what happens. You never know. It could change your entire trajectory. You'll meet new people, you'll do different things, and you'll be involved in Bergen in a way that perhaps you didn't plan to be, but you'll never regret. I promise you that. So. Um, that's, that's my biggest challenge to you right now, today, is to get involved at Bergen and see what happens. You're gonna love it here. We're convinced of it, um, and we look forward to working with all of you. Thank you very much.